So again, Mojo, a very, very warm welcome to Rua Moko Marae. It is a great privilege to be here today. I would like to start by saying thank you. Thank you for such a warm welcome. This is a really special occasion for me. Because not only is it the first time that I'm coming on to this beautiful Moai, but it's the first time that I have been had the privilege of seeing the way <coughs> being signed. And to see all of you signing the butterfly Wayata is very special for me. It was beautiful. I almost had a lot of my work. Because when I see songs from Wayata being signed, it's like the beauty of it. And I feel truly honoured and privileged that so many of you have come so far to see me today. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> that is really I haven't quite grasped just how wide this word was, and but that you also still obviously have a sense of community together, even though you're all in different places in school. And that is fantastic. So, I have been asked to speak a little bit about my journey, about how did I become a member of parliament, and, and more specifically, how did I overcome some of the barriers that were in the way for me to get into parliament, because there were many barriers in my way. But then they said, when you write your bio, don't say that you're deaf, because otherwise people might not vote for you. And I wrote, what? But I am deaf. The mouth will put people off you. So the first time I stood as a candidate, I did not say that I was deaf. And I didn't feel very good about that. I didn't have much confidence. So when I stood again in 2008, I thought, I'm going to tell people that I'm deaf. I'm going to claim my identity as a deaf person. And it's not something to be ashamed of. This is who I am. And I started linking with the deaf community. I started to learn sign language. <laughs> <laughs> and people who said, you can't be a member of parliament. You can't be able to hear the barrels running. Then you have to go to the debating chamber. <laughs> you are not looking at what I could do and what my abilities were that I could communicate. And it's just different communication. And that is a really important thing to realize. That if you can be confident in communicating with other people, it doesn't matter whether it's all, or it's fine, or it's some of both, it's bilingual, it's, you know, Maori as well, it's trilingual. <coughs> and the other really important thing is to realize has a perspective that is really special, that is really valuable. And everyone needs to hear that, to see that, and to know what you think and feel about things, and what you mean. So don't be shy of standing up and saying, tell me this, this is what I think, and sharing your thoughts and your views. I am aware that I'm the first deaf member of parliament, but I will not be the last. <laughs> there will be others who will come after me, and there will be others 
for her in fine language. Maybe her first language. <coughs> and that will bring about even bigger things. <coughs> and you are the future. And every one of you in this room today will be part of helping make that change happen.